Welcome to this video on how to create a responsive menu with OpenElement. A responsive menu will self-adapt to any type of screen, no matter if it is a cell phone screen or a large PC screen. This page is too long to fit in a screen, so I split it in four sections and each of these sections is separated by an anchor that will allow us to navigate through a menu. Let's start by personalizing the base layer. To fit the page into the screen, I will use the responsive button under the page tab and select the 100% with screen. While I'm there, I'm going to select the standard font and standard font color for this site. Note that you can select other parameters to standardize and ease new page creation. The next step is to create a new layer to support the menu. While creating it, we can directly attach the base layer on which we have just worked. Note that it automatically takes the parameters from the base layer, such as font and page width. I'm now adding a group of elements which I will use to create the menu. I give it a 100% width, then I position it in the upper left corner by changing its coordinates. The overflow will be hidden and the positioning mode will be relative. In order to dynamically control the look and feel of the menu according to screen size, I'm adding two custom classes, menu bar and menu bar BG for background. The code used in this tutorial is available through the Create Your Responsive Menu tutorial on the Open Element forum. By selecting a font size, font color, in font name and assigning it to this group of element, I'm standardizing the menu element. Then I assign a link text color to this group of element. This group of element will receive a background color from CSS code block. To access the code editing panel, we click on the source code button. I am adding a new CSS code block in header position that I call styles. I add the following code. Then in behaviors, I choose to run it in the editor. It's time to create our first menu button. We're going to use a text link without assigning any target. I'm giving it a 10 pixel outer margin, a 5 pixels inner margin, and a black background color. Then we need a custom class called Menu Button. Once this button is centered, I copy it three times. I can now change the button text and assign a target to each of these buttons.
The different browsers need some help to understand what we're asking them to display. To do this, I'm adding an HTML code block to this page. This will be placed in header position. I will now use Open Elements Media Edition. It is a function that allows you to change some parameters when the screen changes appearance. To animate this menu on smaller devices, I'm going to use the preset limit to 767 pixels. Prior to that, I need to switch the group of elements height to automatic. Under Media Editions, I select my preferred limit. I change the button margins, the button width, then I center the text. I go back to the default media to add a 60 by 60 pixel group of elements with a black background and a background image that represent the white hamburger. I give it the custom class Hamburger. Then I'm going to hide it for larger screens. I need it to be visible on smaller screen. To do that, under Media Editions, I select the right size and then I select the element on the Element Explorer in the lower left side of the screen and I make it visible. Then I switch the menu button to No Visibility. I also want this gray background to disappear for smaller devices. To do that, I'm going to modify the CSS code. To complete the menu reaction, I need to add a JavaScript code block in end body position.
It's now time to attach our layer to our page and see what's going to happen. We can see that the font change, the color change, and the page width change. We can see that the menu is still underneath the page. So we need some more CSS code that we're going to add to the layer in order for the menu to pop up on top of the page. Then the menu sticks on top of the page and I want it on top of the window. So I will modify the CSS code accordingly with a position fixed. Obtaining a smooth scroll from page to page will require another code block. So I'm adding that last CSS code block to the layer. This is the final result in the end of the presentation. I hope that you will be able to uh, follow these steps and create your own responsive menu with open element.